right. So we found Emily. We found Hello. Emily. Emily. Wandering the streets of New York City. <laughs> I was looking for a taxi, but uh, well, to go where? Uh, we I'll take you. Could, could go to the hospital. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite ready yet, but I see you have a star forming region soon. in progress yeah. there. I have one on my shirt and one in my uterus. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Oh that, that, wow, <laughs> that is great. Wow. So you are ready to go almost, yep. huh? Yep. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna happen soon. Yeah. yeah. About so, to ignite nuclear fusion. And what's on your shirt, this baby? This is my shirt. Is actually a star yeah, forming it's a, it's region. It's a gaseous yeah. star forming. No, I mean, the, which, uh, is the it? Orion, it's Orion Nebula. Yeah, oh. taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Nice. That would be a good name. Orion. Hubble Space oh, do you have Telescope. A, do you have a name for your kid? Yet? Telescope. <laughs> no name. We haven't really Hubble's. decided on a name. Is it a boy or girl? Uh, do I tell the whole? Yeah. I'll tell, it's a boy. I'll tell everybody. Uh, I'm usually kind of cagey about it. Why? Because, you have to tell us at some point. Who cares if it's now or in two weeks? It's the, it's the baby's sex and not the baby's gender. The baby gets to decide their gender. Okay. Gender is fluid. There you go. <laughs> this is true. It's, it's a, okay. I don't know. I, yeah, I haven't come to terms with people asking about the so you're gonna pick a genitals name? of the fetus that's in my... Yeah, but is no. Orion, is <laughs> Orion, is, is Orion, is Orion a genitalist? So no. Oh, I'm, I'm, Gender, you know, not in, not gender in the sky. It's not genderless. I think no names are really genderless, but maybe gender neutral. I don't know. But who's, who's not, not wearing their seatbelt? The camera. Uh, the camera's not. Camera's not wearing. <laughs> you are not wearing. Yeah, we got to put on your seatbelt. We got to put on your buckle up. Here we go. <laughs> Neil's strapping you in. I'm strapping you in. Okay. And driving right, at the same we time. I know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be ironic bar? you have an accident putting on a seatbelt? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's irony. Uh, that might be Alanis Morissette yeah, irony, that, that where it's like kind of borderline. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> so Emily, it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's not irony. Yeah, yeah. Right. So Emily, your your research is yeah is star formation, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. Uh -huh. It's kind of related. I study brown dwarfs, mm -hmm. which are kind of the lowest mass products of star formation. And some of those will be born in a star own. formation. Yeah, region. yeah. And so there's there's brown dwarfs in the Orion Nebula. They're a little bit too far away for us to see in detail, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of brown dwarfs that are closer to us that we can see. And one of the things that we don't necessarily understand about brown dwarfs is how they exactly form and how they evolve throughout their lifetimes. Um, so, so that's your job. part of the things that we want to study. Yeah. Very that's nice. Cool. I study both young and old. Brown dwarfs. So these are the, the transitions are be between planets and stars. Yeah, right. you can think about them as kind of in between objects. Like they don't, well, they kind of do because they they form like stars do out of a collapsing cloud of mm -hmm. gas and dust. Mm -hmm. But then they kind of they don't have enough mass to start nuclear fusion and shine the way a star does. So, and so, so these objects kind of cool and fade with time and end up resembling gas giant planets. So mm -hmm. wait a minute, if I'm getting this correctly, a brown dwarf is very much like my career, a <laughs> failed star. <laughs> yes, but the good thing about a brown dwarf and you're fading as is that it right. lives forever. It's because it's not a star and we call it, we consider a star's lifetime like the lifetime, the time for which it fuses hydrogen and helium, which is temporary for most stars. Well, I mean, that sounds like a technicality. Stars, really. Since it never ignited nuclear fusion, it was never alive to begin with, uh, to then later on die. But it, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but it was luminous still. It never ignited nuclear fusion, but it had energy from its original gravitational collapse. Mm -hmm. And so it still shines. They okay. mostly shine in the infrared. You know, they're kind of, uh, okay. they're, they're, we could consider them indie stars. Oh, okay. You know? They never quite hit the they big never time. The, but, but they still made it in their yeah. own right. Yeah. Still have you can see them in infrared light. You can mm -hmm. see them at the, you know, the indie theater at midnight on a Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs>